by all age groups i mean like we have um, we have books which are meant for really really young kids right so uh, we have a selection of cloth books at the library for example which you can actually be used by infants right um uh, although most of the books in the library uh, we are targeting the age group of 5 to 15 year olds but uh, we have something for all age groups because um it's we don't promote the idea that oh children have to be a certain of a certain age to be able to start reading because uh, it's okay if they can't read the book by themselves like if they don't have um, uh, the aptitude to decode the text but uh, even as even when like um even for infants and toddlers uh you I, i feel like it's important to help children build the familiarity with the idea of books so which means that when when you're giving a cloth book to a child they're able to hold it squeeze it play with it um which kind of helps them in um in just kind of understanding or building that understanding of a book as an object or as a thing um and and i think it takes time and but it's i feel like it's very important for them to build this relationship with books so that they they like by the time they're at the age of reading it's not about uh, the idea of a book is not a foreign concept to them uh, really but more like oh yeah like you know this thing is a part of my environment like so uh i feel and and like i have friends uh who uh, who have been telling um, uh that oh my god like you need to start reading to your babies uh, before they are born and not actually wait for them to be born so yeah so when i was uh when i was a little girl i would read a lot and um, of course the things that i was reading left a lasting impression on me So as an adult when i sometimes look back upon uh, my life experiences and um, how things have shaped up for me i feel like a lot of it is to do with the kind of books that i read when i was a little girl so um, i just feel like it just plays such an important role in your life right like there could be one book or uh, or one interaction which can potentially change the course of your life and um i feel very fortunate that i had access to all of these wonderful books around me um which i got to read when i was growing up and i want the same for all children um and i think that is what kind of uh, gets me going every day <laughs> the way i see it it's not really a choice or an option i feel like it's just I mean if you don't know how to read or if you're not a reader how do you how do you do anything for that matter right like from the most basic things um like even if you're talking about school education uh, at the end of the day if you don't have uh, if you if you're unable to decode or comprehend uh, how do you study anything or in just day to day world how do you operate if you if you are um if you are unable to read so i get a little surprised um when i hear this question but i feel like uh maybe maybe it's about the habit of reading or maybe it's about the interest in reading uh relevance part uh, yes like absolutely uh <laughs> i mean like i said i don't think it's even a question um like it will uh, continue to be relevant um Yes like I mean it is true that uh, given the distractions it's it's easy for uh, not just children but like everyone to get distracted I mean I I love reading and uh, I know that I can be on phone for hours just scrolling um but I don't necessarily see uh, the technology part or the gadget part as being a challenge because um I feel like it's the other way I feel like uh, because uh, children haven't found the right environment or because they haven't had the right kind of um uh I don't know, like guidance or they haven't found the right kind of books or they haven't had the exposure to the right kind of books uh, it's easier for them to be distracted um because like even with all the gadgets around like we see this at the library that there are children who are very happy to kind of sit and read for hours 
so um, does it contribute to the problem yes but does it like i mean is it the only factor in causing the problem i'm i'm not so sure um, so we ran a little pilot last year uh, we set up a very basic library space in spiti um, in kaza uh, which was open to all and we we ran the uh, library space for a couple of months uh, we didn't do a lot of marketing or anything to begin with we just had a couple of children and then purely uh, on the word of mouth we had about 65 children coming in um, at the end of those couple of months and um, uh, these 65 children ended up borrowing over 2600 books from the library within those couple of months and um, of course these are children who would uh, otherwise be spending time at home is looking at gadgets um, but the fact that they would they were choosing to come to the library every day uh, most of them were coming in every day anyway we we had children who were coming from different villages um, so i feel like as long as we can create the right kind of environment for children where Reading doesn't feel like a task, but it, it really feels like something to look forward to. Uh, it's absolutely possible to get children to start reading. So last year we, we ran a few um, uh, workshops, we did a few activities. Um, we had a couple of authors uh, kind of dropping in at the library, which is really like such a treat um, because um, Spiti is not a place where a lot of children will like, you know, run into authors the way we do in the city. So um, uh, we did like uh, one session with Tanu, Tanushri Singh and uh, there were so many children and, and we did it like at a very short notice uh, and, and they were like I think over 25 children who just showed up for the event and they were so excited uh, about the fact that oh my god there's an author uh, and you know like it's a real person who's writing books and there are all kind of questions to ask. Um, we also did another workshop last year which was to familiarize children um, with the birds that exist in Spiti and we did it through stories and art. We had a lot of takers for that. So I feel like um, the trick is in making the space and uh, making, uh, making the content so relevant uh, for children that, that it's not a sell anymore. Like you don't have to tell them to read but they will show up um, every day and they want to be there because they see uh, the value in doing it uh, so I feel like as long as as like as long as we are able to build environments like that it doesn't matter um, uh, what kind of distractions exist because there will always be takers uh, for that